so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this looping shape shifting animation in the blender with the help of the shape key so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscribers so now let's start the tutorial and one more thing guys if you create any kind of animation with the help of my tutorial so don't forget forget to tag me on instagram here you will see my both id link okay you can uh, tag me in any uh, account and now let's start a tutorial okay and now i'm just going to open my blender so here you can see this is the project file basically you will get this project file and here you can see guys i use the shape key so now i'm just going to show you how you can create this so first of all i'm just going to delete all the shape keys right now something like that okay so now here you can see we don't have any kind of animation in our glass if i will show you here here you can see okay so now i'm just going to start a animation so first of all you need a one model like this okay so before starting the animation i just want to tell you a little about the shape key basically how it's work basically and what it does exactly so shape key is a basically a process where we can preserve our mesh data and it depends up to you how you you are uh, deforming your mesh whatever deformation you will give to your mesh it will be uh, it, it will be preserve that uh, shape when you move the slider it will uh, react okay so now i'm just going to show you how it works exactly then i'll do the animation okay so here you can see this is our glass and i'm just going to hide this camera for a while pressing the edge yeah so uh, right now i'm just going to add a one new shape key from here pressing the add new shape key plus icon so when you click the plus icon you will get one basis so basis basically hold the uh, the basic uh, shape of our glass so we have to click once more again and when we click the once more so here you can see we have now lots of option here it's called value range and max and vertex group and relative to okay so here you can see we can change this name as a glass one also so i'm just going to change glass zero one yeah okay so now i'm just going to the edit mode of this glass pressing the tab and here i'm just going to enable my x-ray view and if you can't see your mesh so you can go here and from here you can increase the x-ray opacity so that will give you the freedom to select the behind faces also and you can see your mesh as well okay so and right now i'm just going to give any kind of shape of this uh, mesh so here you can see i'm just going to give a shape something like that you can give any kind of shape right now i'm just giving an example how it's work basically so here you can see I think that's fine okay and here you can see when I press the tab again it's uh, come to again their basic shape and right now here you can see we can see one value slider here and when I'm when I will increase the that value slider that shape key will work very nicely here you can see and now we can see here that mesh is uh, changing whatever shape we did in um, edit mode it's giving the same shape okay so that's how that uh, shape keys work basically so here you can see guys here we have a range it's mini and it's a max so max is set uh, one so here you can see mini is zero and max is one if you will increase to the two so here you can see what will happen it will increase the slider two and that mesh will be increased according to this value slider okay so it's depend on what kind of animation you are doing so right now i'm just going to set this uh, one okay so here is a vertex group section so what is this exactly if you if you don't want to that shape key is uh, if you want uh, that shape key is working a particular area particular section so you can add those uh, vertices in the group and then you can just uh, choose those groups so that uh, shape key only work only those uh, vertices so i'm just going to show you here so here you can see i'm just going to edit mode of this class and right now i'm just going to uh, create i'm just going to select uh, those vertices basically okay and here i will add one group and then assign it okay and after that i will go to the my vertex group section and here i will select this one so here you can see now that uh, shape is working only that part where we select these vertex group 
okay so that's how work the vertex group basically so right now we don't need it so that's why i'm going to cancel it and so now i'm just going to show you how i create this animation basically so let's start it so first of all so here you can see our first animation is done okay but if i will move my slider so I, we can't see any kind of animation because we need to add some keyframes here we have to define which frame to which frame that animation will be play so for that we have a, also here a one keyframe uh, section where we can add the keyframes so what i'm going to do here i'm just adding the one keyframe here then i will just go to the my 20 frame and now i'm just going to increase my slider and now I'm just going to add one more time that keyframe and here you can see now I will play the animation so it will play very nicely okay so our first shape is done now if we want to uh, add another shape so we need to uh, add uh, one more uh, keyframe something like that pressing the that uh, plus icon but what happen if I will uh, go to the edit mode so here you can see it's come to their basic shapes and that is we don't want because uh, we want to walk this shape basically so what we have to do for that that we have to just uh, uh, delete this keyframe first of all and now we have to just click on this little icon here and here we have to just uh, create a new shape from mix so what is does basically so when i click on it so here you can see it will create uh, another key so first of all i'm just going to change the name is class uh, 02 and now uh, if i will go to the edit mode so it will preserve this last shape which is uh, we have uh, created okay and now we can edit so now i'm just going to change the shape of this glass So here you can see guys right now I'm just going to move this slider it's not going to change that uh, exactly shape which is we have created so what is the reason behind it so here you can see now so right now it's uh, uh, relative to the basis so that's why it's going to happening and uh, how we can resolve this problem we have to just change to relative to the glass one and when we do this so it will convert very nicely to the another shape here you can see so that's how we can convert to the one shape to another shape and by default it's uh, uh, set to the basis that's why it's happening so don't worry about it you have to just change the relative to the that last shape so it will uh, work very nicely here you can see okay then uh, we will do again same thing we'll just uh, add one keyframe here then we'll go to the 50th frame and just move this slider to here and then again I will create the keyframe so here you can see guys it's work very nicely now we'll create another shape and for that we'll do again same thing we'll just add a new shape from the mix then we'll change this uh, glass 03 and now I'm just going to change this shape to another shape yeah we have done with this shape also and same thing I will do here and it will again not work very nicely so for that we have to change this basic to the class 2 and now it will work very nicely here you can see and now I will do same thing I will just go to the sister frame add one other keyframe then I will go 80th frame move this slider and just add a keyframe and here you can see it's working very nicely so now you know that how you can create this animation but now if you want to create this animation on loop because if I will play this animation if I will set this last frame to 80 and now I will play this animation so it will not going to loop because it will be showing a zerg okay so how you can create this loop means how you can copy this first shape into the last shape and when you play the animation it will not look like a zerk so how you can do this so for that i'm just going to set this 100 frame and then uh, i will just add a normal keyframe okay not like from here new shape i will just add a normal keyframe here and after that i will set this name as a glass uh, 04 and then if i will move this slider so you know that uh, right now we can't see any changes because we didn't do any changes okay so for that so from here we have to just change this relative to the class 3 and now if i will move this slider so it will come again his uh, original shape okay so now we can add the an another keyframe from here okay 
just adding the one keyframe sorry here then we'll go to the 100 frame and just move this slider and now I will set this last frame to 110 and now I will just play the animation so as you can see it will play in a loop so that's how you can create this loopable animation uh, in blender with the help of shape key it's called basically uh, shape shifting and uh, and this is a very cool trick to create any kind of uh, shape deformation animation i hope you uh, like this if you will create any kind of animation with the help of this tutorial so don't forget to tag me on instagram and you will get the all instagram and social media link in the description and don't forget to follow also so that's it for this tutorial guys and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely apply comments so bye bye take care and stay home guys